Welcome to JMeter Tutorials. Today we will discuss what is a summary report and how to analyze the summary report. Okay. You can add a summary report from uh, right click, listener, and uh, summary report. Okay. I have already added summary report. Well, let me clear. Uh, let's discuss. In a thread group, this is a thread group. I have a rename. I have added number of threads is a 5, ramp up period is 2 seconds and a loop count is a 1. Loop count is a 1 means these threads will run only one time. Okay. So I have recorded the script, HTTP request, 3, 4 requests, right? And when coming to summary reports, it is having a window panel. This is a window panel. So you can provide the name, you can write the result to the file or read from file. Okay. When coming to, if you want to log only errors or success, you can use these checkboxes. So in configuration, you have default some uh, checkboxes are there. So these are the default. This one I have selected. Why? Because I want to save the result file in XML format. Okay. This is a sample result save configurations. Okay. Click on done. Let's save. When coming to summary reports, this is a label which is displaying as HTTP request name. Okay, this is sample. Samples means you have given number of threads 5, right? 5 into 1, 5. So, these are the samples means how many threads group users are ran for particular HTTP samples are request. So, these are samples counted as showing. If you have see view result, see it has ran for 5 times. Okay. That's why it is showing us fine. So this is the total for each uh, HTTP request sample ran for five times. Why? Because number of threads are five. Okay. When coming to average, this is average response time. It is uh, giving for each and every HTTP request. And coming to this average response time, how it is calculated? It is adding this 4 1 2 3 4 divided by 4 let me show you 6 not 6 plus 6 0 9 plus plus 4 68 plus 8 0 6 okay total samples are 4 samples means http samples are 4 divided by 4 now it will become as 606 plus 609 plus 468 plus 806 2489 2489 divided by 4 so how much it will get divided by 4 622.6 point 6, 6, right so it will uh, displaying up to 622.622 point, 622 only, okay? Means 0.25 is ignored. This is average response time. So when coming to min, min uh, column displaying as minimum response time in milliseconds. This average also displaying in milliseconds. Maximum is also displaying in milliseconds. Means, so if you observe here average is a 606 and the maximum response time is taking as 1056 means uh, one uh, http sample in you know, order gives thread users are 5 then it has taken maximum response time is a 1056 means sending the request to the server and receiving the response to the server between this time is called as a response time right from sending as well as receiving Next standard deviation means sorry standard deviation means suppose you have a login page while uh, login into your application it will uh, immediately get back to the response from the server like my account page will display emails like this right so in order to run, in order to display that particular page in between sending and receiving, it will take some time. So suppose one application at a time 100 users or 500 users are hitting. 
there will be some standard deviation like uh, displaying the some messages like uh, in servers they are facing uh, error like uh, sending the response to the user it will take some time means some errors in some null pointer exceptions or something so because of this standard deviations time will be increased okay this response time is increased okay. minimum showing as 312 so why maximum is showing as 1056 why because for samples for some samples at a time it is concurrently accessing that samples http request samples at that time some samples one or two samples are receiving the response from the sender from the server is very high so that's why this maximum response time is increased so that increased displaying a standard deviation some deviation is there if you consider standard deviation which is very high means it should be fixed in if standard deviation is very less means 70.45 means it is considerable why because this standard deviation is very less when coming to 268.78 means the standard deviation is very high why because there is a issue some samples are not receiving for concurrent users concurrent access so in order to we need to focus on this 268 and 252 as well as 107 okay so in order to fix this issue we have to check for server log error there you will find the errors for that particular request what is the error it has given here you will see errors if it is errors is there then only standard deviation will increase when coming to errors it is a 0% right it is displaying in percentage errors means if you have uh, given the request to the server and the server is not sending that response for that particular request means it will give you find an internal server errors so at that time error will be high and uh, sometimes page is not exist at that time you will get 404 http status code so that will be error and uh, when you are using response assertion okay see if i am using main samples and response code which is matches okay i want to use as a 300 now what will happen what will happen this will be get failed it has giving the response as 200 but my assertion is 300 so let me run and you will observe the error okay so that you can understand why error is coming see error is showing as 100% okay and the average is showing as 25% why 25% means suppose 100 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 by 4 means 100 by 4 equal to 25 sorry that's why it is giving the error standard deviation also error now the maximum response time is very less 664 means it will act check this assertion also okay and when coming to throughput throughput is 2.4 seconds which will be in seconds minutes as well as hours okay this one we will discuss in next lesson how to calculate throughput and coming to kilobytes per second this kilobytes per second means suppose i am running my test plan in my laptop so what are the geometer using that particular gb like a uh, speed or memory that will be displayed here not the server or server how much server is using kilobytes per it is not displaying displaying here the ramar report why because if you are running your particular geometer tool in any platform like in any windows uh, windows like uh, in any CPU, suppose you are in your geometer you are running in your server where application is deployed then only you will find this kilobytes per second how much kilobytes per second it is using as per this particular http request okay it is giving as my laptop personal laptop cpu usages it is kilobytes per second how much it is using if you have seen let me show you task manager performance okay resource monitor here it will display everything okay memory how much it is using Okay, disk. Which disk it is using so much? 
okay which net network how much it is using act network activity so while running this script test plan you can identify this one so how much your cpu usage is there while running okay everything it will display here it is it is it, is, it will display okay suppose you are running for 100 virtual users thread user then you can able to display so the average bytes is it will be based on this kilobytes per second how much it is using okay it's like this you need to analyze how your application samples or web application or web services so how it is behaving okay in next lesson uh, we will discuss how to calculate the throughput and here i have saved in xml format right this is a reason you have to calculate throughput with the help of xml only okay thank you thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my videos next lesson we will discuss how to calculate throughput